Space and caves are the two things that we humans are absolutely fascinated with. It is primarily because exploration of both leads to discoveries that help us understand how the universe was formed and how our ancestors lived centuries ago. While the two disciplines are quite different, the fundamental purpose of both is quite similar, to know and understand the past. The fascination with the past and the exploration of caves and other prehistoric structures have led to astonishing discoveries, some that scientists cannot fathom to date. From old skeletons to wall chalkings, numerous discoveries have stunned scientists. Let's dive into some of these caves and look at some of the shocking discoveries in this video. The Crystal Maiden is the name given to a skeleton of what is believed to be a 17-year-old boy. It was found in the Acton Tunichil Mucknell, also known as the Cave of Crystal Sepulchre, located in Belize near San Ignacio Cayo District. The Crystal Maiden was not the only skeleton found in this prehistoric cave. There are several other skeletons in the different chambers of the cave as well. Furthermore, several ceramics and stoneware were also found in the cave that featured specific markings known as kill holes. Also known as ATM in the local language, the cave is primarily famous for the skeleton of that 17-year-old boy. It is usually shiny and lustrous because of the calcification that has led to a sparkling, crystallized appearance. Based on the number of skeletons and the markings found on the ceramics, anthropologists have assumed this cave had been used as an altar to offer sacrifices in the form of human lives. Some parts of the cave appeared to be modified to create altars for offerings, silhouettes of faces and animals, or cast a shadow image into the cave. You can also visit this terrifying cave in Belize by contacting the small groups of agents who the Belize Tourism Board has given licenses. However, you would not be allowed to take a camera inside as in 2012, a tourist dropped the camera and damaged a human skull that was believed to be about a thousand years old. What happens if life gets cut off from the outside world for 5.5 million years? Well, the Movial Cave has all the answers. It is located near Mangalia, Constant County in Romania, and was discovered in 1986 by a man named Christian Lascu. At about a few kilometers from Black Sea Coast, the Movial Cave is most notable for its unique groundwater ecosystem and abundance of hydrogen, sulfide, and carbon dioxide. Shockingly, the oxygen concentration in the cave is so low that you and I would not survive in it for long without oxygen cylinders. But does that mean no life has survived in it? No. In fact, the cave is home to about 57 animal species. The animal species include leeches, woodlice, centipedes, water scorpions, pseudoscorpions, and more. All of these species have survived by eliminating their reliance on oxygen and instead using methane and sulfur, which are abundant, by a process known as chemosynthesis. The methane and sulfur oxidizing bacteria release nutrients for fungi and other bacteria in the food chain. It creates microbial mats on the walls of caves and aquatic surfaces consumed by other species. The rest is exactly the same as the other biological food chains where the grazers are preyed upon by other species. While the cave houses a number of species, not all of them started out simultaneously. The most recent species discovered is the snail, known as Heliobia dobrogica, which is just over 2 million years old. The most unique species in the cave is Nipa anophthalmia, which is the only known cave-adopted water scorpion in the world. The Altamira man is the name given to fossils of the genus Homo, discovered in 1993 in the karst sinkhole in the La Malone cave in Italy. It was one of the most well-preserved fossils, but had the covering of thick calcite, which gave it a cave popcorn shape. The bones of the skeleton were so weak that any efforts to retrieve them would have broken the structure. Hence, for at least 20 years, the skeleton research was based on on-site observations. Consequently, scientists could not agree on the age of the skeleton primarily because of the lack of carbon dating. However, a small fragment of the right shoulder blade was recently retrieved from the cave and subjected to various tests. The findings and analysis were published in the Journal of Human Evolution. It was revealed that the fossil belonged to the Neanderthal and the skeleton was at least 128,000 years old. This discovery stands out because it is one of the most complete Paleolithic skeletons ever discovered in Europe. Even the bones inside the nose are still intact and as of 2016, it is the oldest sample of Neanderthal DNA to have been sequenced successfully. The Altamira man is still embedded in the limestone matrix to this day and will probably stay that way unless scientists find a way to retrieve the skeleton without breaking it into pieces. The wolf's egg iron, also known as Salzburg cube, was the name given to a small cuboid mass of iron found in tertiary lignite in Austria in 1885. It weighs about 785 grams with dimensions 67 mm x 67 mm x 47 mm. The sides of the cube are flat, 
while the other two are convex, and a deep groove runs between the middle of the object. The discovery of the Salzburg cube sparked a fair bit of controversy as some claimed it to be an out-of-place artifact. The object's structure and composition were not typical of the area it was found in. Some thought it was a piece of meteorite, but that was ruled out later due to electron beam microanalysis findings. It is now believed that this piece is about 60 million years old, which dates the Salzburg cube to prehistoric times. The stone was exhibited in several different museums before finding its permanent place in the Heimathaus Museum of Wacklebruck, Austria. A cast of the structure was also made, which is currently kept in the Oberösterreichischen Landesmuseen in Austria. Chavit Cave is located in southern France and is home to several mysteries, including the oldest footprints of Homo sapiens and a dozen of new animal figures. Jean Maria first spotted it in 1994 and the footsteps that stretched about 150 feet led to the room filled with bare skulls. According to the research, the footprints appear to be of an 8-year-old boy and are between 20,000 to 30,000 years old. Some even believe that these could be twice as old. The onset analysis has led scientists to speculate that the boy slipped on the soft clay floor and he was not running but rather walking normally. It has also been found that the boy stopped at one point to clean his torch. This has been established by running an analysis on charcoal, which dates back to about 26,000 years ago. As for why there are so many bare skulls in the room, well, scientists are still figuring out the reasons for that. Some believe it could have been a place of worship or a cultural site. A new investigation into the cave was also conducted by a team of 15 specialists led by Jean Klotz of France. They discovered about a dozen new paintings of mammoths, horses, bison, and other animals. So far, the team has documented about 447 animals of different species. By comparison, it is twice what was found in the No Cave in the French Pyrenees. The Leambu Cave is a limestone cave located on the island of Flores in Indonesia. Between the 1950s and 1960s, the archaeological and paleontological potential of the cave was assessed, but nothing quite significant was found until 2003. A team led by Thomas Sutikna uncovered the first skull from the cave, and the size of it suggests that the skull belonged to a young boy. However, upon thorough investigation of the skull, it was revealed that it had matured and permanent teeth, meaning that it belonged to a fully grown adult. The skeleton went on to become a holotype specimen of Homo floresiensis, also known as the Hobbit. Even though the brain size of this species was small, the research revealed that they could design and use stone tools and hunting animals such as rodents and small elephants. Furthermore, the hobbits were capable enough to deal with large predators such as Komodo dragons. As of now, more research is being conducted to understand more about the ancient human species. That is all for this video. We hope you had a fun ride. Stay connected with us to learn more about such astonishing discoveries. As always, we will see you at the next one.